absolutely perfect out there at the moment. <laughs> it is flipping freezing. So we made it here to Anson's Bay. Um, it was a pretty nice drive in actually, pretty mellow dirt road, um, not corrugated at all. It must have just been graded. There were some people working on it and stuff like that. So um, I think they might have done, just done the whole road because it was just smooth as silk the whole way in. So that was awesome. Didn't even have to air down or anything just for a smoother ride. So happy days there. Couldn't get a beachfront side, so it was a bit of a bummer. We did find one, but someone sort of parked a car in the way and we couldn't get in there. So we were just sort of set up here in the back area with the Nice view out to the ranges over there and across the paddocks and stuff and it's pretty nice and bushy and quite protected and it's pretty windy at the minute so that's actually quite good. We're uh, just going to go for a fish and yeah. Fishing. 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 You love fishing? Yeah. Are you excited? What kind of fish do you want to catch? A big salmon. <laughs> That'd be cool. And we could cook it over the barbecue. Yeah. Fishing. Breakfast of champions. Sausage, egg, cheese, burger sauce. Oh my god. He won't hurt you. What's he doing? What? What's wrong, Kate? I can't, I can't kill it. He's always dead, but I can't actually do it. What do you mean? I can't put him on the hook. Can't put what on the hook? The crab. It's almost dead crab. Go on, you can stick him oh, on the hook, I mate. I can't do it. No, Ken. I can't do it. I can't do it to him. It's just a little crab. Will you do it then? Hey, <laughs> do you do it? No, no. I can't tie knots. <laughs> Will you just tie lots? Come on, man. I'll film it. Ready? Sorry, mate. It's probably not even good bait. <laughs> Throw him back. They go with fishing, fishing, fishing. Go, mum. Golf clap. Golf clap. <laughs> Show me. Ugh. What's the feels? No luck fishing. Over it? Over it. Yeah, it's addictive though, because then I see fish and I'm like, ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> But there's just so much seaweed that every time you cast out, you just catch seaweed. I have this shell and look on the outside, but the inside is more beautiful. Have a look. Hold it in the sun. Answers Bay, it's absolutely perfect today. Like honestly, it is just magical out there. We had just a lovely morning kind of trying to catch fish. We suck, like we struggled out there. But there's a lot of weed, like, and I think it's kind of hard when your, your hook and your tackle's getting all covered in weed and stuff, just sort of, yeah, it's not great. And it definitely alerts the fish that something's going on, in my completely naive, useless opinion. Don't listen to me when it comes to fish. I don't even know why I'm trying to comment on it. <laughs> 
I'm an expert, I've caught three fish. Um, but uh, yeah, basically, just magical out there today. And um, we're gonna move from here today and we've decided we're gonna jet across towards, start making our way towards Cradle Mountain. I want to surf, and because I still can't surf, I don't really wanna do all the rest of this coast while I'm laid up. I'd love to do it when I can get on a board. So we figured we'd go do a bit more inland stuff, head over the other side, and maybe go down towards some more lakes and rivers and things like that, and change it up a little bit. Not really doing the lap per se anymore, but more just something that sort of suits our situation. So yeah, back on the road again today. This has been lovely, but um, yeah, didn't catch any fish at Policeman's Point in Anson's Bay, but uh, it was a nice enough camp spot, so. Anyway, onwards, let's see what we can find next. Plot twist, we are gonna go to Little Blue Lake. Uh, we're bailed from Anson's Bay and we're, uh, we're going somewhere else. So stay tuned. That was a little blue lake, what do you reckon? That was a little blue lake. Yeah, it was beautiful, like the blue is so intense, but um, yeah, not really what I was picturing. I thought you'd be able to maybe get down to the banks or something. Um, and yeah, like you can only sort of look at it from afar, but it was really cute, really sweet. I liked. So here we are at Pioneer Lake, uh, bit of a surprise this one, we just found this on Wiki Camps. We love lakes, we love river camping and being off grid, this is all of those things and it's free and it's absolutely perfect out there at the moment. There's no wind, a little bit of sort of rain and stuff, that's why this is happening a bit later in the day because the weather got a bit crummy there for a bit, just a bit overcast and whatnot but it's turned into a beautiful afternoon. The lake is glassy. It's just absolute perfection. And this is a free camp. You're allowed to have fires. So we got the fire going and yeah, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be nice. We might stay here a couple of days, I think, because we love this kind of camping. Hey, Missy, you like this kind of camping? You like being, what do you like about it? The warm fire and the beautiful lake and the little fishies. Oh, uh -huh, little fishies as well. I show you them. They're over here, are they? Yeah, you can just see them. Down there. We well, might not be able to see them, but They're there's little definitely little ships. tiny fingerlings down there. Like Apparently they stock the dam with uh, with trout. With trout! So that's pretty cool. And um, yeah, so we're going to hang here for a couple of days. There's some cool little sand tracks around the lake uh, to explore and on the fort with the forby and whatnot. And, just kind of hang out and I think we're going to take a bit of downtime as well, sort of decompress because we, uh, I don't know, we feel like we just want to have a bit of back to earth kind of stuff. So we'll give that a run for a little bit and yeah, it should be nice here.
Lake Pioneer. So if you want something free that's by the lake that's just midweek quiet, apparently it can get noisy on the weekends, but this is an absolute perler. So looking forward to seeing this sunset soon. Hopefully we get some nice footage. Something's eating them all. Basil! What was it? Let's see if we can lot. find the prints. They look like lion prints. I did like chives. Bastard. What a bastard. <laughs> <laughs> I hope they don't have a tummy ache. <laughs> How did you just pull something? They all think this might go before us. Come on now. We found this little spot here uh, on Pioneer Lake when we put the drone up this morning, and it's just, just a bit of a, a bit of a fun pit, really, a bit of a sand pit. It's just got a whole bunch of little dune kind of climbs around here and stuff like that. Nothing crazy, like it's not really that challenging at all. Like she kind of just walks up at Bessie, so I'd imagine anyone with a four is going to be able to do it. Just put the boot into it and it gets up. The sand's actually not like that real fine sand. It's actually like this sort of rocky pebbly sort of stuff so you know it's kind of uh, had a bit of water on it recently so it's kind of hard packed underneath and it's yeah it's pretty good but it was a good fun little afternoon out here to kind of cruise around and just kind of you know kill an hour or two just driving up some bumps and <laughs> cross this sort of i don't know what it is i don't know if it's an old sand quarry or mine or something like but 
Yeah, anyway, it seems the locals put it to good use. There's a whole heap more over that side of the lake and a whole heap more out the back. But uh, those first ones we explored were probably more for motorbikes and you could tell four-wheelers and stuff had been out there. No serious sort of uh, wider car tracks. It looked all a bit scratchy. So anyway, yeah, a bit of fun. Katie had a drive and uh, even she uh, got up the old hill in Bessie. How'd you go? Yeah, it was all right. The, the last one I went up though scared me a little bit because I don't think I gave enough gas. So it was just kind of like hard to get up and I thought I was doing, well, I was doing something wrong, but yeah, I thought <laughs> something bad was going to happen. So it scared me a bit. And we almost got bogged once, but we yes, recovered. We, we got did. out of there. We got out of there. So if you're up this way and you're looking for a way to kill some time, then get up here and have a look at it. Kids found a hill. Lift your feet up, you monkey. So, we're getting out of here today. It's, uh, weather's changed, a bit blowy, a bit grey, and we sort of, we kind of peaked, I reckon, yesterday, driving around out in the, uh, in the sand, sand pit the other day, which was good fun. But, uh, we're gonna head back into Launceston, I think, today. We're going back to Old Max, a uh, bit of a base, so that we've got access to water, it's cheap, we can have a fire, and we can set for a few days, do all the washing. We want to clean the van because we want to do this van tour video that we've been talking about for ages. So we want to get it all looking spick and span. So it's because everything's just covered in dust and filth from being on the road for, you know, the last three weeks and not even taking a look at it. I gave the, the car a bit of a rinse just to get the salt off it. But yeah, it's just basically been pretty gnarly weather and it's covered in stuff. So we're going to get it all cleaned up looking good so we can do those videos and then we're going to go somewhere so we can film those videos nice hopefully cradle mountain we're not sure just yet but we'll work that out so on the road today better get going because i think it's going to rain and i don't want to get caught hitching in the rain so here we go back to old max Happy old max that. farm it's got cute little bunnies and you're excited you aren't you? animals and you can pick blackberries i'm warning you they haven't been sprayed back at Old Max Farm and it is absolutely bucketing down. It's going to rain heavy all day and we are basically about to get some cabin fever happening. We're setting up the TV and it's movie time and maybe popcorn time. What do you reckon, Mum? Yeah, yeah. Movie day! Movie day! Yeah. 
We're watching Hocus Pocus. Only one. Mum looks stoked about it. Turbo I... stoked. Bit Hocus Pocus. No way. No way. There's other movies that we can watch that don't involve Bette Midler and witchery. From like the 1980s. <laughs> yeah, I know. Like the <laughs> oldest movie ever. No, not that one. You look very really comfy and cute in there. I can't even make my tea cup to two bags of popcorn. All right, flash forward. We've been uh, not filming anything, not doing anything for the last three days. We basically came back down here to Launceston, back at Old Max Farm. And because we've done a video and stuff here, I was like, well, you know, we may as well just hang out and not do any filming and enjoy our time. So that's exactly what we did. Had a bit of a break from uh, from the camera work and we just sort of regrouped, did heaps of washing and a whole bunch of other stuff. and. Um, you know, and we're cleaning everything up so that we can do this bloody van tour video. We've been saying that we were going to do a van tour video for so long, but we wanted to do it right, we wanted to do it properly, and we also, we needed to clean it up because it was bloody filthy, it was covered in mud and all sorts of stuff, so we've cleaned the car, we've cleaned the van inside, and we're just about to clean it on the outside on the way out of here, and we're heading south today. Um, bit of a change of plans. Basically, we were going to go over to Cradle Mountain, but Cradle Mountain weather this week looks like it's going to be a couple of days where it's not going to be any warmer than 6 degrees. And we were just like, yeah, nah, we don't have a diesel heater, don't have a gas heater, not into it. The girls are like, but we want to see snow. And we said, well, we definitely don't want to deal with being stuck in the van when it's 6 degrees outside with no heater. So, and also you can't have a fire up there. So if you could have a fire, maybe we'd just tough it out and kind of burn a lot of wood and enjoy life. But... Yeah, that's not going to happen. So we're heading south. We decided we've uh, we've only got four weeks left or something. Um, we're going to basically head down to just a little uh, lake camp, like a little uh, property camp, like so, like a, it's a hip camp or air camp, whatever. One of those. It's someone's house basically or someone's property. We're going to stay there, film the van video, maybe do something on the car as well. We'll see. And then we're going to head down towards Bruny Island because we're going to spend a week on Bruny Island. Come back through Hobart uh, and then do a bunch of other stuff as well. So. We're thinking we're going to get a little bit. We're going to get a little bit more organised, and we realise that we've just spent four weeks. The first four weeks are pretty much just pottering around the northeast corner, so we might have to pick up the pace a bit. We might have made like small error there, just taking our time, being a little too leisurely with no planning. So let that be a lesson to us and anybody else who's thinking of doing the same thing, uh, especially when you visit a lot of wineries. So anyway, down to the lake today, and uh, we've been going a bit slow, haven't we? Cleaning up? No, just in general, traveling oh, around am. Tassie. We've, I've been, been here for a month and we've seen like a quarter of Tassie. <laughs> now we've got a month to go to do three quarters. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Anyway, we better get this show on the road and uh, oh, look at Bessie. She's clean. She's clean. Well, she's clean ish. Like, I couldn't get everything off, and I need to give these a little bit of a polish down here on the canopy because there's just streaky sort of dirt and stuff stuck on there. So, anyway. Back to work. It is flipping freezing and their wind is just whipping off the lake over there and yeah it's uh it's blowing an absolute gale down here it has been probably up to about 60 kilometers an hour this afternoon just flogging across that plane and across the water vans just set up over the back here behind these crew and uh yeah it is cold as a uh 
won't say it. There's a lot of good things to say there, but I won't say it right now. So we've just been huddling in the van. <laughs> There's the van over the back there. Ripping spot, like great view out across the water here and everything. And yeah, there's only one other per one other crew here and I think they're leaving tomorrow. So we'll have the place to ourselves. This is the only bit of sunshine that we've seen for ages. It's just been bucketing down and blowing all afternoon. And yeah, we haven't really been outside the van. So I'm hoping we get to explore a little bit here tomorrow. Hoping to get to go for a swim maybe, but apparently the weather is not gonna be great. But that sunset is starting to work. Have a look at that. That's not too bad. So we might go get some footage. But uh, either way, I think we'll see more of what's going on here tomorrow. So last night was probably 70 kilometer an hour wind gusts. The whole van was just shaking. And like, we're, there's nothing around. Like we're just exposed out here. And it's still very cold today. They are saying that it's gonna snow down to like 1200 meters. So we're basically, we're thinking maybe we're gonna bounce from here. Like the only reason I'm not getting absolutely blown to hell at the moment is because I'm in the lee of the van and oh, that's blocking all the wind, but it is like, yeah. Pretty windy. So we're gonna get out of here. I think we're gonna go somewhere that's a little bit more protected. Even though this is a beautiful spot, we'd love to stay, but yeah, it's just with that wind and stuff, you don't really wanna be outside. So we're gonna go get somewhere out of the wind and uh, hopefully go find somewhere that's uh, a bit warmer. So fingers crossed, back on the road today, unexpectedly, because this is a beautiful spot. We got some, like I really enjoyed sort of shooting here last night. It was lovely with the wind and the cloud and the color and stuff around sunset it was just beautiful, but onwards we go. We'll see what we can find. So we've just popped into Richmond ripping feed at the pub and we're gonna have a quick look around looks like a pretty sick little town and uh, Katie's fallen in love with it already so I better go find her and hope she's not spending too much money <laughs> um, roast of the day at the Richmond Arms mate get around that that was unreal best one I've had in ages what's wrong <laughs> We found the biggest lolly shop ever. near Hobart. Where are we? At yeah. the lolly shop. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Let's go. Quick. Go, go, go. Two and it explodes. 
then you get a purple drink that you, and then you get a purple drink. The lolly teeth at the bottom, yeah. see the red yeah. and the white? Yeah. They taste. Mm. I was well in love with that. <laughs> Would you like to put the back together? $80 and $1.40. $80 and $1.40. Eighty and a dollar forty. Do you work out what you're getting out of Yeah, I'm getting this, this, and a uh, lid, a uh, lolly bracelet, and some bubble gum. I really think you should get it. Wait, Ada, 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 you got a lolly bracelet. Oh. And this. Yeah. How about we all share what we've got? Oh, that sounds like Choose's Remorse. How you going, Ada? Good. Is that yummy? Yeah. What you got? A lolly bracelet. Are you wearing it or are you just eating the lollies? So, a bit of fun in Richmond yesterday, that was awesome, and uh, such a good place. Just a quaint little town, and uh, just out the other side of Richmond is Pooley Wines, like literally a minute out of town. Katie's like, it's got some of the best reviews, it's got beautiful old cobblestone buildings, and blah, 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 blah. You said a whole heap of other stuff too, didn't you, Kate, about how good this supposedly yeah. was? Like picturesque, beautiful wines. Um... And on their website they had like $35 per person for four tastings of wine and a cheese board. But um, all three canopies, but they didn't know anything about it when I rang up, so we'll see what happens. Canopies? what I say? Canopies. 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 Oh. Canopies. We've been talking about <laughs> canopies all driving on my mind. <laughs> Ole! Oh, and we also bumped into the Vagabonds, so they are coming with, with their massive Isuzu truck. Have a look at this weapon. Snakes. Snakes? Oh, can I tell you something? Yeah. It's a little secret of mine. Once we were at a snake show, a snake was holding on the man. And the snake was hanging down on the man's hand and it did a P double O. This way.
So where is it? Churchill what? In, in between Campania, I, I don't know how to pronounce it, Campania and Richmond. In between Campania and Richmond. So we basically, we went out to the lake uh, or the dam, which was awesome. And you saw some footage from that. Like, it's a beautiful spot, but it was just super exposed. And we had no reception. We don't mind being in places that are exposed, where you've got to stay in the van maybe for the day because the weather's really crappy or whatever. But what we don't want is a place like that to have no reception because we weren't prepared this time. We didn't think we'd have no reception. We didn't download anything. And you know what? A rainy day inside in the bed, like, it's not hard to take. It's comfortable. The bed's so comfy in the van. I'd happily sit in there all day and just watch movies and the kids watch their movies and we'd all have a bloody wonderful time. But I tell you what, you don't want to be stuck out there in the van with the kids with no reception, no nothing. There's only so many games that you know you can play before somebody cracks the... You talking to me? <coughs> well, who the hell else are you talking? You talking to me? Anyway, we bailed from there, came back down here, and it's just been pretty awesome actually. Richmond, which is a beautiful little town which you've seen footage from, it's only like literally five minutes that way. So we've just been out there at a winery. Uh, yesterday we went and did the lolly shop and all the rest of it, and this is a really good little spot. It's only 10 bucks a night, just in the paddock here, but it's nice, you know, like check the scenery. It's just nice, sort of mountains in the distance there. You've got pasture here, a few bloody sheep running around then in the background there's the vagabonds over the back there and uh just more hills and like just a big open paddock that's the house the family that live here and there's another house just up here which is not too bad as you can see and um like it's yeah whatever there's a big bonfire i think they're building a big bonfire here i hope they're gonna light that soon be good if they lit that while we were here be stoked on a bit of bonfire action but you can have fires um we're going to have a little fire tonight because the wind's died off finally. It's not blowing its bloody guts out. It's been blowing so gnarly here. Uh, tomorrow and the next day, I think, gets up to like 50 or 60 kilometer an hour winds. So, yeah, i got to say, not entirely into that idea. We did have this like random dreamy thought. We're like, oh, let's go up to Mount Wellington. It's going to snow today. And then we realized that the wind on Mount Wellington was up to 100 kilometers an hour. So, yeah, maybe not like entirely... Uh, something that we were gonna tangle with we had this dreamy idea of us you know snowflakes trickling from the sky and it all just being quite beautiful but the reality was that those snowflakes would be coming in 100 kilometers an hour and probably cutting the flesh from your face and flaying it from your bones so probably not ideal but getting a handle on the weather so we basically i think we're going to cruise from here maybe tomorrow or the next day we got here to start with and we're thinking that we might leave pretty quickly and go down to the coast but the truth is there's quite a lot to discover around here so we're feeling pretty comfortable and enjoying our time and been hanging out with Christina and Kirk from the Vagabonds um, on Instagram and there'll be a little handle somewhere here maybe and uh, yeah they are an awesome couple we've been chatting with them on Instagram for a few months finally just randomly bumped into them here so that's been really cool and uh, yeah feeling pretty comfy here it's a nice little spot so fire tonight maybe drink one of the wines that we bought from Pooley today that was a really nice little winery and um, I think the girls are over patting the chooks or something at the moment so yeah it's been pretty good it's been pretty good enjoying our time here in Tassie <laughs> Bad way to end the day, is it, babe? Oh, we're doing video. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Look at that. It's just like picturesque and sheep and those beautiful clouds, the golden clouds, freezing with the fire.
So we've just been a couple of nights at this beautiful little low-cost camp in Churchill, or it's called Churchill, which is right near uh, Richmond. Uh, it's a beautiful little spot with um, like a flat camping area. There's like play equipment for the kids to use. There's a trampoline that they've loved playing on. It's someone's house though, right? It's cheap. Yeah, it's someone's house. So like that play equipment is their kids, but they you know, don't mind you using it and then their kids come out and play and then, so the kids have friends to play with, which is awesome. Um, yeah, they let us collect some chicken eggs and we took a couple of trips into town. There's so much history there. There's like a beautiful old bridge, like the oldest standing bridge in Australia. The oldest Catholic church in Australia. Best like lolly shop. Best lolly shop. <laughs> uh, great wineries in the area. Um, and yeah, there's like an old jail, a zoo, a museum, like a poo museum. Hello. Uh, and yeah, so we're going to leave today only because it's blowing an absolute gale. So we're going to head down to Hewinville, Hewinsville, um, and yeah, we're going to spend the weekend there at a beautiful run family um, farm stay. So yes, we'll see you there. We ended up right in the guts of Hobart in these tiny streets. Dude, it was so fun. The kids should love it. But now we've decided to go to the southernmost tip of Australia. <laughs> it's cold. We don't have enough time to fit everything yeah. that we wanted to. We suddenly realised, ooh no!